So. Although engineering may still be king on campus, you might be surprised to learn about something new attracting many students to wear the blue and orange. ABC7 reporter Carolyn Hughes has a script on a curriculum that proves El Paso isn't as far away from Tinseltown as you might think. It looks like any other movie theater, but this theater doesn't just show movies, it teaches them. With their eyes transfixed on the recent blockbuster film, The Matrix, many of these kids enrolled in the Art of the Motion picture class are dreaming of one day seeing their own movies up on the big screen. Some are already on their way. I shot Froggy. Oh no, I think he's dead. This one took about a week. Andy Ramirez, a graduate of Riverside High School, first picked up a video camera at the age of 10. Now eight years later, he's made over a hundred short films and won nearly 15 film awards, including first place at the Border Film Festival last year. Jennifer Cinesetos, a Del Valle grad, has also won numerous awards for her film work, including the National Journalism Award for a documentary on gun violence. It's just my passion. I've been doing this for five years now, and I can't see myself doing anything else. You know, we complain in this town all the time about brain drain, and I just don't think people appreciate the fact that we have this incredible university here in El Paso, and we have programs like the Film Studies program for students who are doing amazing things on the high school level. And we don't want them to leave. We want them to stay here, and we want them to tell the stories from the border from their own perspectives. And stay, they have. Nearly all of the 200-plus students enrolled in Cynthia Farah's film study class are local, and they don't see it as a disadvantage. The UTEP department looks for their students. It's a great department. They let you come and look at it. So you look at it, and you're like, wow, I didn't know it was here. And it makes you change your mind about where you want to go. Just because, you know, you live in a certain city doesn't mean that you're nothing or that you can't achieve anything. I mean, a lot of the greatest people have come out of small-time cities that no one's even heard of. And Andy and Jennifer hope to add two more of those people to the list. Who knows, maybe I can be the next Steven Spielberg. Oh, my main goal would be to just one day drive by a movie theater and look up and see, you know, my movie is showing there. And to look inside and see a line of people waiting to see my movie. Carolyn Hughes, ABC7. Hopefully it'll happen. Yeah. Dreams can come true, true if you work hard enough. Roll them.